So there was something else that really disturbed me. Um, Rustin had to pay the entire bill for the amicus attorney. Now, if you've been watching this, and, and I've been here before too, the amicus attorney is basically siding with the mom. So basically, Rustin didn't have to go through these things. There is no problem in the relationship between Rustin and his son. What I thought was interesting today, because I've been there with an amicus, but the amicus where he was positioned in my court case was in a neutral position. He wasn't sitting by yeah. my actual or was he sitting by me. He was in a neutral position. Today, he's sitting right beside um, Aiden's mom. Yeah. And it almost looked like they're double teaming up. Well, they were double teaming up. 100%. Yeah. No, I, 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 yeah. no, it was a triple team. Because the judge, was, the judge was the third you, person. Yeah, it, it was a tag team match against I know. Ben Beveridge. Ben Beveridge from Be Beveridge Law Firm. I'm going to do a little uh, plug for this guy. This guy is phenomenal. I mean, that, was the that first would have been time I was excited to see something like that. To, mean, right out of the gate, he yeah. gets shut down. He gets shut down with his argument. Denied, motion denied, and the guy came back for a second lick. And he made, he gave, let me, if you don't mind, for just a moment, I'm gonna this say, what Ben did, if we replay this, what Ben did is he goes in and he lays out the argument in a very prima facie way. He says, hey, based on everything within the, the case file, I'm asking you to take judicial notice of the case file. Yeah. The judge refused to take notice. Yeah. Ben, in a very summary, summary type way, if you ever have read big reports, you'll get an executive summary in the right. very beginning. Right. And then you might, and, and it might take up what, three or four pages. And then it'll have maybe 200 pages to back it up. Yeah. Nobody wants to read 200 pages. Yeah. Ben says, not a problem. I'm giving you an executive summary. Judge says, Dad, I'm not going to take judicial notice. He says, no problem. Uh, judge, I'd like another stab at it and lay out the facts. Yeah. He did a superb job. Oh, I wish we could have had that on tape yeah. because it gave a great example yeah. of how to call a witness yeah. in order to substantiate your exhibits. Yeah. The, the, the way he laid out his... Uh, his evidence was was great yeah. because he preserved the record. Yeah. But he was trying to give everybody an opportunity to save time to just say, "Hey, I'd like you to take judicial notice of everything I just spoke about in the last ten minutes." Yeah. And instead, he had to lay out an hour's worth of foundation. That's what we call his foundation when he lays out the foundation of what it is he's wanting to get on record. Yeah. And and the, I mean, it was a very uh, the, the objectives were, were, uh, oh, was they, they were childlike, really, and it, it became, I think at that point, Ben almost took control of the, the courtroom. Oh, he did. Ben, ben did take control of the courtroom. Yeah, and so, I, I will say two things about Ben, too, I, and I thought, like, when, when you get an attorney, they want to challenge other attorneys. Yeah. Ben, Beverage today, he challenged an amateur attorney. Yeah. For at least for, for that about three five minutes for an hour uh, on attorney fees on, on fees and, did and you, then, how do you know him where does he go to school I mean that attorney was not expected what he got today well the attorney was also rattled because we had a break right before that and, <laughs> and, and Wade like Phillips and Pino was there and, and so I just wanted to get a comment from him and he was shaking and, and he's walking by us and He's only in it for the money. He's only in it for the money. He's only in it for the money. Wait, the, are you only in it for the money? <laughs> that was so, great. Yeah. And then I, I don't know if you heard me. I said, hey, he's in boarding school. Let him go live with his dad. And I, and I, I chimed that in. But, yeah. you know, uh, long story short, this is a clear cut case. Aiden is getting robbed of his childhood right, right now. You should be able to live with that. And, and what's really bad here, once again, is you have a non parent. You have a judge who does not even know Aiden. You have an amicus attorney who does not even know Aiden. Well, okay, okay, and, I, and you're right. So that, for this second, one step further. He's not even living with a mom. He is in boarding He's school. Boarding school, right? And and and. and and, boarding school or reform school? Yeah, I don't whatever know. you want to call it. I know. But he's, not, he's not able to live with his mom because he doesn't want to. He would rather go to boarding school than live with his mom. But yeah, this 
crooked judge and attorney won't let him go. Uh, right. Okay. Right. Okay. So, I mean, how do we fix the problem here? Here, here, I was talking to Jeff Younger about that. Here, it's probably a little bit tougher. I, I think we got to get a, I think here we got to get Clinton Berry out, out. You know, we got to get it off the bench. And I think we're going to have to get somebody to run against him. Right. I mean, it has, it, this is just crooked politics here. Uh, I, I, I don't, like, the bigger problem is we've got to fix the system up for here. I think we got to get this show out of here. Yeah. Any other, any other suggestions, Brandon? I think it comes down to your favorite topic. And that's the definition of best interest of the child. Yeah. Aside from milk on the doors, yeah. best interest of the child was mentioned, what, almost a hundred times today? I, don't, I didn't count. Almost I didn't now. count. Uh, but when we talk about best interest of the child, him living in Nebraska yeah. versus with his father and, and trying to mend that relationship yeah. with the mother. Yeah. Um, Who's going to argue that that wouldn't be the right thing to do? What I thought was amazing was when Ben said, so basically, Ben got him to admit the last time he spoke to him concerning the safety and welfare of a child was in December. And this is me. And now he's wanted to collect money because he's been there advocating for the safety of the child. And, and he hasn't talked to him in six months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and then they got it on the record that the... That Aiden is now having a hard time. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Aiden is a good, good kid. I mean, he's, I got to meet him, and nothing but really, really top class. You should be able to live with that, basically. Yeah. Yeah.